Former governor of Enugu State, Chimaru Kinnamani, is asking the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, to withdraw his petition against the president-elect, Bola Metinubu, and join him in the task of rebuilding a new nation. Senzana Mani, who said this in a statement, is also urging Obi and his supporters to align with reality and welcome Tinubu's victory to the office of pres the president of the greatest black nation on earth. He claims that Obi knows that he has neither the national spread nor the appeal to have won the presidential election, pointing out that Obi is doing with the petition, quote, bad belay, petulance, and demarketing. The yeah, Enugu East Senator Namani claims that Obi needs to come down from his high horse to allow leaders to negotiate on behalf of Igbo and Southeast geopolitical zone for safe landing on national issues that he can partake in the sharing, of course, the accrual of Commonwealth, end of quote. Moving on to Senator Namani's comment with regards to the petulance, what he describes as the petulance and bad belaysim of Mr. Peter Obi. I want to just say that it is quite interesting or ironic to say that the APC during the elections had encouraged and said it many times that in fact it became a mantra for a lot of people to go to court. And now that the time to go to court has come, they are saying don't go to court, it is you being childish. <laughs> I believe that Senator um, Inamani should allow, the petitions have been submitted, he should allow the process to take its course. If there's nothing to be afraid of, let the man have his day in court. Anyone should have the right to seek, um, to seek redress if they feel aggrieved. It should not, that narrative should not be pushed in terms of you're being childish, you're not there for Nigerians because you decide to go and seek redress for what you feel or what the candidate feels was not a fair process. Let him go to court. Let the judge or the court decide who is, you know, what is right or what is not right. And let him stop this narrative of saying that, oh, you're, you know, this is um, in, in bad taste. You're just jealous because you didn't win. We need to stop this. We have a court system and a judicial process for a reason in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Okay, uh, Dr. Chimaruke Namani, saying that Peter Obi should just forget about his uh, uh, case in court, that he's a spoiler, uh, he's, uh, he's trying to sabotage uh, Bola Metinubu well. Both Dr. Chimaroke Namani, Senator Chimaroke Namani, representing Enugu East, former governor of Enugu, yeah, is entitled to his own opinion. But his opinion cannot override the opinion of Mr. Peter Obi, who was a candidate in the last presidential election, and who says that there are issues. And he has taken this step, and he has continuously insisted that he will seek legal and constitutional means to put his grievances on the table. And he has already filed a petition before the presidential election tribunal. No individual, not even Senator Chimaroke Namani, can say, oh, that uh, petition is dead on arrival. No, it's not the tribunal. He should leave that to the learned persons who, whose job is to look into those uh, into the petition and the cross petitions. So he cannot, uh, he's not in a position uh, to act as a court of law uh, over a petition that is before a body of competent jurisdiction. So I think it's uh, Senator Chimaroke Namani that we should be accusing of being presumptuous <laughs> because it amounts to sheer presumptuousness. You know, for you to say, oh, it's dead on arrival. You are issuing a judgment over a matter that is before the court of law. You should desist from saying that. Otherwise, if he's not careful, the tribunal can charge him for contempt. That's what she could have. Because what uh, Senator Namani is doing it amounts to busybody action. It's not a party to the matter. It was not, it was not a presidential candidate. So what kind of busybody uh, allegation is that? Saying that uh, uh, Peter will be going to court. Uh, it's a joke. And Senator Namadi lost in his senatorial re election bid. <laughs> in fact, some have argued that if Senator Namadi had focused more on his senatorial bid, maybe he would have been a returning senator now rather than focusing more on Peter Obi. Senator Namadi doesn't have the moral right to speak about the legal case in court. And like you said, rightly, Dr. Bati, he could be charged for contempt. I think it's just allow the court to have its way. Let the court decide on this. You never supported the man, so why are you trying to offer any advice to him now? 
I ask you, you never supported the man. So why don't you just leave the man alone to be able to go through his legal process and let the court rule as regards this? You are not a party to the matter. The one before you, you didn't win. You didn't win your own senatorial election. You said you're going to support the APC presidential candidate. And everybody says you have a right to support whoever you want to support. So please, this obsession, I call it with Peter Obi. And really, why is there this obsession about the candidate that came third? <laughs> Didn't I next say he came third? So why is there an obsession with him? It is only in a contest like this I've seen that there's never been so much obsession with the man that came third. Everybody wants to pull down the man that came third. People have won the elections. Keep it moving. But why is there this obsession about the man that came third? I ask. Because it's just a carryover of that obsession that we are seeing. Cases have been filed in court. Even the APC had given their response. I think probably trial will start anytime soon. Let's just watch the interesting fireworks coming up. Respect and tell man, not money to know all of this. And the Muslim community in Anambra State has commended the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, for his unwavering support to the community from his days as governor of the state. They also described Obi as a tribalized Nigerian who does not segregate against tribe, religion, or ethnicity. Speaking at the Central Mosque in Onitra, where Obi went to mark Idel uh, Fitri with them, the secretary of the Muslim community in Anambra State, Mahmoud Imam, expressed their displeasure with what he describes as unnecessary lies and propaganda being used against the person of Peter Obi. He said they were not happy with the religious and ethnic colorations being given to Obi and his quest for a new Nigeria. Peter Obi later donated a cash gift of 500,000 naira and missed some other food items to the Muslim community. We have one country, one Nigeria. As governor of Anambra State, I have been in the past. My ADC was a Muslim of Santana. Idris. And Idris is a good man. We remain close to today. I'm a Nigerian who believes in Nigeria. I have never discriminated against anybody because of religion. And I will never do it. We sponsor so many of our people to make up uncountable people who choose. All the here say that we are not with Muslims, you are not with Northerners, we are in position to say it. And we can testify that you are with all Nigerians, irrespective of background, ethnic, or religion. Let's talk about Ayo. Yes, let me, let me start with that last uh, story with mm. um, Mr. Peter will be going to visit the Muslim community in Anambra State in celebration of Eid el Fitri, marking the end of the holy month of Ramadan, 30 days fasting, um, as uh, along with other things in terms of generosity, giving back um, from the Muslim community. You know, the reason why this is important or why it's such a beautiful picture to start our morning with um, is because that's the, this is the picture or the face of what we want Nigeria to look like, where people of different faiths and religion can be together, work together in unity and harmony.